हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कॉलिंग होस्ट यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट आर ब्रांचिंग स्टेटमेंट्स ब्रांचिंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर आल्सो नोन एज जंप स्टेटमेंट्स लेट्स सी व्हाई दे आर आल्सो नोन एज जंप स्टेटमेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद कंटिन्यू सो आई एम मेकिंग अ प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू टेन सो आई एम यूजिंग अ फोर लूप फोर इंट आई इक्वल टू वन आई लेस देन इक्वल टेन एंड आई प्लस प्लस एंड इन साइड दिस आई विल पास सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन एंड इन साइड दिस आई विल पास आई सो वेन आई रन दिस प्रोग्राम सो यू कैन सी डेट वी आर गेटिंग नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू टेन इन आवर आउटपुट बट I want to skip a number in our output that I don't want to print five, but accept it. I want to print all numbers. So what I will do is I I will use continue here. So I will pass a if statement here that if i equal equal five, and inside this I will pass continue. So when I run this program. so you can see that we are getting numbers from 1 to 10 except 5 so 5 is not here so what happened to our program that whenever this condition become true that i equal equal to 5 our loop jump from 5 directly and it, it have not executed print and statement for 5 and it skipped it but after that loop will execute all the remaining values so let's take a, another example that i want to print numbers from 1 to 10 but only even number so what i will do is i will pass a condition here that i modulus 2 not equal 0 so let's see what is happening here so modulus is you just should check reminder so when i is divided by 2 and if the remainder is not equal to 0 so we will skip that number and we will not print it so we know that only odd numbers have remainder not equal to 0 and even numbers all have remainder 0 so when i run this program so we are getting only even numbers in our output so same i can do with odd numbers i will write here that equal equal to 0 so if remainder of i divide by 2 equal equal 0 the loop will skip that number and not print it and if the remainder is not equal to 0 so system dot out dot print talent will print that number so when i run this program so you can see that now we are only getting odd numbers and the and all the even numbers have skipped by using continue keyword let's see how we can use break keyword in our program so break is used to break a loop like our our loop is running and at some condition we want that our loop will exit so how we will do it so this is a program that will print number from 1 to 10 but if i say now this loop will print numbers from 1 to 100 so when i run this program so you can see that we are getting numbers from 1 to 100 in our output but i want that it will only print numbers from 1 to 50 and after that loop will exit so what i will do is i will pass a if condition here that if i equal equal 51 and inside this i will pass break so when i run this program so you can see, see that now we are getting number from 1 to 50 only and after that we are not getting any number because our loop has break because of break keyword we have used 
so this is how we can use break in our programs to exist or break a loop according to our conditions we passed let's see how we can use return the only difference between break and return is that break or return is same but a break can only be used in loops to break a loop but return can also be used outside the loop so let's take an example with return so if i write return here and run this program so we are still getting same output that we are getting numbers only from 1 to 50 and after that our loop has break because of this condition has become true so it will not run anymore but we can also use return outside of loop but in case of break we cannot do same so let's try it if i write int i equal to 1 and i am printing system system dot out dot print ln inside this i am passing i so when i run this program we are getting 1 but if i say i plus plus so we know that it will increment the value of i and i i will become true and if i pass here that if i equal equal to 2 break so you can see that now we are not able to use break here because break can only be used inside of a loop but we can use return here so when i use return we are not getting any error and after that if i want to print i again so when i run this program so you can see that we are only getting output 1 but when i decrement the value and i have passed a condition that if i equal equal to 2 so here i has become 2 and after that our program will not run anymore and from th this statement our program will stop when this condition become true but if i write i plus plus again so i am decrementing the value of i again and if i print the value of i again so will it work will it print the value of i which has become 3 because we have only passed condition when i is 2 so when i run this program so we are still getting 1 because when any condition become true and we have passed return so after that our program will not execute any more statements and it will exit from that part so we are only getting statements execute from here to here and after that it, it they are not executing because our condition has become true and our program has exit or return from here so this is how we can use continue break and return and this is why we are known as jump statements because we can jump to any part of a program by using it so th this is all about branching statements and the topic of control statements and is here thank you